Hello, and welcome to Spellbound. I'm your host, 32Bits, and today we're going to be taking a second look at the Terrible Fire TF330, and we're going to update it with the latest firmware to see what kind of boost we can get in performance. Okay. Now, to do this, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need the, the TF330, of course. You're going to need a you're going to need a Raspberry Pi and some jumper cables, um, along with some instructions. Now, the instructions will be in the in the uh, description below, um, and so we're going to go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do, though, to start those, I'm going to go ahead and uh, solder on some uh, pins to the JTAG header here so that we can connect our Terrible Fire to the Raspberry Pi. So I'll do that, and then uh, we'll continue on. Okay, so I've soldered in the uh, JTAG header pins there. You can see um, on the back. That's the solder end. This is the pin end, and these are the pins um, on the TF330 that we're going to connect to the uh, pins on the uh, the GPI bow pins on the uh, Raspberry Pi. And we're going to do this according to the um, diagram that uh, Stephen put up on his video link in the description below. Um, you're going to need six wires, jumper wires, um, female on both ends, so you can you know pin here and pin here. Um, on, in his video, he said you needed five. That's because he was powering the TF330 in his CD32, and I'm not going to be able to do that because of a bunch of things. You know, it's kind of hard to have that all apart and, and um, connected. So I'm going to go ahead and power the uh, TF330 while I'm programming it from the uh, 3 volt um, uh, GPIO pin on the uh, Raspberry Pi. So that way I can program it outside of the outside of the CD32 and you know have not worry about it being uh, installed at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these um, six cables from the uh, JTAG header here to the uh, pins on the Raspberry Pi according to the diagram that is in the video, uh, Stephen's video, um, and I'll link in the description below and I'll put a, go ahead and put up a I'll put up an overlay of it here while I'm doing this. Now once I get that connected then we're going to go ahead and boot up the Raspberry Pi. Um, I've already installed the software that you need to use to burn the or, or to uh, write the um, firmware onto the TF330. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll, we'll take a look and see what that looks like. So now that it's all connected, we're ready to power up our uh, Raspberry Pi. This has Raspbian installed in it, brand new, uh, you know, brand new installed Raspbian on the SD card. It also has the software that you need to burn the firmware image onto the uh, the TF330. Those instructions will be down below as well. So you need to you need a Raspberry Pi with Raspbian, and you, and you need to install the software that you're going to use. It's a command line tool that you're going to use to burn the firmware into the um, TF330. So we're going to go ahead and boot this. Uh, first thing we're going to do is check. Um, when we boot this, we're going to go ahead and run a command that's going to check and see if it sees the um, programmable chip on there. Um, so that way we can be sure that we've, before we go ahead and try and burning it, we can be sure that we've wired this up correctly. So we're going to go ahead and do that, boot this up, I'll get it up on the screen, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so we've got the uh, TF330 hooked up to the Raspberry Pi with the uh, JTAG connector, and we're going to go ahead and try to uh, run a test um, and see if we can see it. So we're going to type in sudo um, xc3sprog and the xc3sprog is the uh, program that you would, will have already had to have installed um, for this to work. The instructions are in the description below. Uh, C and then uh, sysfsgpio <coughs> and it's going to list the um, device connected to the JTAG uh, connector and here we see the uh, this is the chip that we're looking for and it's at device zero so that's perfect that's exactly what you want to see so as long as you see that you know your your uh, chip is connected and then uh, you can go ahead and start with the um, firmware load now to do that we're going to go ahead and download the uh, latest firmware um, and you can go ahead and uh, grab this the command from the um, instructions that I have listed 
and paste it right into um, your terminal if you'd like. Um, this will download the um, the same firmware that I'm using to make this video. It is this here. This is the one we just downloaded with that WEF. So now, <clears throat> what was put in there was these two. What are these two? Sorry, files here. You have the TF um, 330R or revision three, which is what we're going to go ahead and use, and then we'll go ahead and burn that to our terrible fire 330. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and uh, enter this command. It's going to go ahead and burn um, this JET file, this the new um, firmware to the TF330. Um, I just went ahead and copied it right the the name and location right from where it was inflated to, because we because we downloaded it with the wget to the current folder we were in, and then we extracted it in the current folder that we're in. Um, it created a subdirectory of the uh, TF330 underscore uh, 2019 underscore 03 underscore 18 and then inside there there are these two files so we want to make sure that we include the full path there so we want to include the, the subdirectory and then the file name and go ahead and hit return it says W at the end for write Now it's uh, doing its job and writing firmware. If all goes well, we'll go ahead and uh, it'll go ahead and finish, and then we'll be able to shut down the Raspberry Pi, disconnect the TF330, and plug it into the CD32 with the new firmware. Okay, and so now it's uh, ended. I'm gonna go ahead and just do another, just uh, recheck. and see what it sees. Okay, it still sees it there, that's good. Good sign, looks like we've gone ahead and burnt that. We're gonna go ahead and try loading that into the CD32 and see what kind of uh, improvement we get. Just a real quick reminder, when you're gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect all this so that you can reinsert it into the riser and then put it back in your CD32, you wanna go ahead and disconnect power to the Raspberry Pi first because it, it is powering um, in this configuration, it is powering, the Raspberry Pi is powering the um, the TF330. So we're going to go ahead and bring you know that all down before we go disconnecting these cables. So we'll just unplug the power there. All the LEDs are out. And then we can go ahead and disconnect the uh, jumper wires from here. We'll reinsert this to the top edge connector there. I'll go ahead and put the um, compact flash uh, card back on here and then reinsert this into the CD32 and give it a boot up and see how, see how it does. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the new firmware flashed and we've go ahead and reinstalled the uh, TF330 into the CD32. Um, and I'm getting ready to boot that. Now, before I do, I just wanted to say that um, in the when I was making the video, I did flash the Rev3 um, firmware onto the, my card. Unfortunately, my card is a Rev2, so when I when I tried booting it, um, it did boot, but it was acting all weird. So I went reached out to um, Alan PPC. He's the uh, guy that built this card, <clears throat> and um, I reached out to him and said, "Hey, you know, I'm having problems with the uh, firmware and." Um, I, I did try the uh, the latest uh, Rev2 firmware that was um, um, on the repo, and it still wasn't working right. I mean, it would boot, but I wasn't getting any any sort of speed increase at all. So what he said was, "Oh, you need the the very latest um, firmware." And um, I I just want to stop for a second and and just uh, 
make a comment about the uh, community there that's kind of sprung up around um, this project. Not only uh, Steve and Terrible Fire himself, but also the builders and all the people, the users, you know, the different people developing software and um, uh, just supporting, uh, you know, this board. The users that are very you know, helpful. Um, yeah, so if you haven't already signed up to the XLS forums, go ahead and do that because um, they're, everybody there is really nice, really friendly. Um, the they're uh, very willing to answer any question that you have and um like i said i reached out to alan um uh, i left him you know i, I sent him a, a dm about 10 minutes later i got an answer back and uh, he said hey send me your email uh and i'll i'll send you the very latest uh firmware so you know that was fantastic uh i i did i got the i got the link i downloaded the uh, file and um i'm going ahead and uh, burn that new rev 2 burst um onto the uh, firmware onto my uh tf330 using the same exact process that we used before of course the name will be the name the name of the file will be different um and um by the time this video comes out they'll probably have already uploaded the latest version onto um the, the github the github so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the machine on. I will hold down the uh, the the two mouse buttons uh, and see what we're looking for is um, a a two in the um, we're looking for a two in the um, hardware number. Okay, we're going to look at the expansion board diagnostic and in the product number here we do have it too so that's great that's what exactly what we're looking for go ahead and click continue and then we'll get a go down to workbench and we'll run uh system phone and see what we what we're looking at for uh the difference in speed okay so great we have our workbench up and we're going to go ahead and run system phone and see what kind of uh, results we get Okay, so wow, we're looking at a a nice increase for um for the for the firmware upgrade. We're looking at a 9.87 compared to what we had gotten before. Um, and if you look here, um, the only thing that's beaten us is an A4000 uh, 040 at 25 megahertz, but we are nipping at its heels right here. We are really really close. So that's a great um, speed improvement for just uh, you know the firmware upgrade. I would definitely uh, you know recommend doing it. Um, again, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was uh, informative and interesting. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. If this is your first time here, um, please uh, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope to have some more videos up soon. Thanks.